My husband and I have five kids, and our two youngest are autistic. Meet Ezra. He's a seven-year-old who loves to laugh. He has apraxia of speech, ADHD, and severe autism level three, which mainly means he needs a little more help. He's nonverbal and communicates through an iPad. And meet his little brother, Simon, a three-year-old who loves to draw and loves cars. He has more mild autism of level one with no intellectual delay, which simply means he needs less support than someone like Ezra. All the signs that we'll be sharing in this video are of Ezra when he was four years old. So here's 12 signs of autism in a four-year-old. The first sign is spitting in circles. Most of the time when Ezra was four years old, we would find him like this. He loved carrying little speakers around and listening to the music. He'll still spin in circles now at seven years old, but not as often as he did when he was four. And sign two is repeating over and over again short sections of preferred songs or shows. You can watch how Ezra starts his song over and over again. And sign three is unaware of social situations, perhaps acting aloof of the activity, maybe acting like they don't care or that they don't notice. You can see here, all the other siblings are really excited about meeting their brand new little brother. But the whole time they visited, Ezra never came to me or wanted to see the baby. He was more interested in the buttons on the hospital bed and opening and shutting the doors of the closet. Oh, look at yeah. the mama, the baby. Ezra, who's that? Just like seeing all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> A little shirt on that was too big for him. <laughs> and you're right, there's a mohawk. You're right. He's not crying right now. Oh, he recognizes your guys' voices. Now perhaps Ezra was fully aware of what was going on. He didn't seem to desire to be engaged. Sign 4 is collecting items that actually aren't toys. We have so much home video of Ezra taking buckets or baskets or bags and filling him up with random things. Of course they're random to us, but they weren't random to him. They were his treasures. And then he goes Ezra? goes to Benson and then pulls him off the chair. Ezra? And the first time we get the video out, he doesn't do it. <laughs> That's great. Sign five is a lack of eye contact. Now honestly, Ezra is a pretty severe example of this. Now watch as he doesn't want to look at me at all as I try to teach him how to sign thank you. Strawberry. Oh, good signing, good signing. Can you sign thank you? Saying thank you? Ezra. Look at, look at mama, look at mama. Sign thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Thank you. So excited. Do you want a carrot? Sign please. Good job. Sign six is a fixation with a certain mechanical function. For example, Ezra would decide that he liked certain buttons or certain things on in the house. I had just given birth to Simon and I had the baby swing around all the time. Every time I would see it, even though it was empty, it was on because Ezra wanted it on. Sign seven is seemingly unaware of present circumstances. For example, have you ever heard someone describe a behavior as, oh, they're in their own world? That's what I'm talking about here. You can see here that Ezra isn't very interested in catching the fish. You get the fish. Oh, you ready? Oh, you ready? Oh. Usually, a neurotypical child would be really excited about catching their first fish. It seems almost magical that there was a fish under the water and now we're bringing it out. Look, you're like a mosquito. Fish. Look, look, there's a fish, Ezra. You catch it. You got it. Here it is. Yay, got it. I think it's seven fish. Seven? Seven fish. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that all autistic children at four years old aren't going to like fishing, but this is a sign of autism that they're seemingly unaware of their present circumstances. Sign eight, eloping. This is a sign I do not like. It causes a lot of worry for our family, and it's actually the reason why we got Ezra the safety bed. If you want to find out more about that safety bed and how he got it and what he thought about it, you can see that video here. Eloping is when someone just leaves. They don't really have to have a reason or a certain place in mind to go. They're just leaving, and Ezra will do this every chance he gets. This is why we used a toddler leash on Ezra when we were visiting all the national parks in an RV with five kids. Some people didn't like the fact that we were using a leash on our child, but those people really didn't understand the dangers of eloping. We'd love to share our unique normal with you, so please consider subscribing. And sign nine is some kind of speech impediment. 
Of course, this is gonna look different on every child. Remember, autism is a spectrum. At four years old, Ezra would go days, even weeks, without saying a word. And even now, he uses his iPad to communicate. But at four years old, we did get video of him saying Dada on Father's Day. Check this out. You say happy Father's Day to you? Yeah. Da, da, da. Good boy. You say da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Please put in the comments a sign that we missed. Something that you know a four-year-old does. Or maybe you did when you were four years old. And sign 10 is chewing on things. Especially at four years old, Ezra would chew on his shirt all the time. We actually ended up getting him some chewable necklaces that were shaped like building bricks and that helped a lot and saved a lot of shirts. And sign 11 is not looking at the camera for a picture. Most of the time it's really difficult for us to get Ezra to look at the camera. But sometimes we get lucky. And I love this one. And sign 12 is shutting doors. We don't have a lot of video of this, but he does this all the time. And at four years old, that's when he decided that it was his job to shut all the doors whenever he saw one open. Mark, go get Ezra. Oh, he's just gonna shut the door probably, huh? Is that okay for something to have? That paper plate? No, get that away from him. <laughs> Ezra gave it to him. And here's 12 signs of autism in a three-year-old. And here's our autism playlist. 